Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good. It's a little cold, but you know what? We soldier on. Now, I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Master KG reveals that he spent over 1 million rands on his Shine Your Light music video. So, Master KG has recently revealed the figures behind his Shine Your Light music video featuring David Guetta and Akon. Now, taking to Twitter, Master KG said that the total cost to making the music video that was shot in the Dominican Republic was about 1.1 million rands. Now, obviously, I've watched the music video. It's a great song, great music video. And as of me recording this particular video, it has 4.4 million views and it premiered on the 19th of July, 2021. So it's got a couple of days out, about four days, you know, since it premiered and it's got over 4 million views. So it's about a million view a day. But talking about the music video itself, like I said, I mean, I would suggest you guys do watch it, but I have watched it and... Uh, a million, a meter, one million rand spent on shooting that video. Personally, I could have shot that video with a good phone, camera, and a drone. That's all you needed for that particular video. Heck, I could have even edited the footage on the actual video editing software that comes with the phone. So the question, so the question I had while watching this video, where was the million rand spent? So Master KG posted the following on social media. This year, I shot my first most crazy expensive video, Shine Your Light. It cost 1.1 million rand. Never thought it would happen because I'm used to 500k videos, but I'm happy. Make sure you check it out on YouTube. He follows that up with it was shot in Dominican Republic. The flights from SA to the accommodation and the production team in those countries is freaking expensive and other things. Alright, so Master KG is counting the flights, the accommodation, I'm assuming the food as well, transportation as well, once you are there, kind of booking an area to shoot in. I suppose the figures are starting to add up a little bit. And one would assume that you'd also have to, you know, give something to Akon and David Guetta, right? But nonetheless, Master KG has definitely been making some money moves since his hit single Jerusalem featuring Unom Trebo became a global hit. And recently, Master KG was sending 1,000 rands to some of his fans on social media. Now, it seems after this, you know, people were kind of questioning his bank balance. Now, Master KG came through and uh, kind of set the record straight or cleared the air and wrote, Law guys, me giving out money doesn't really mean I have a lot of money. My bank balance might be on the same level as some of you guys. Just that I don't really mind spending my last 15k or whatever that I have to people just to see smile on their face. So there you have heard it from Master KG himself. But uh, yeah, do comment down below if you've watched the Master KG uh, Shine Your Light music video. And what did you think of it? Did it scream 1 million rands to you? Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Kelly Kumalo is tipped to replace Somizi as Idol South Africa judge. Now, following the dumping of Somizi Mklongo from his Idol's SA duties by Mnet, according to the latest reports, the show will be replacing Somizi with guest presenters. Now, according to Sunday World, they claim that they have learned that the producers are actually eyeing singer Kelly Kumalo to take over Somizi's hot seat. The article claims that they have some highly placed sources that said that the channel has decided to use guest presenters to test the water especially with the fans now according to another informant that sunday world has so far kelly kumalo is leading the pack for the candidate to actually take the judge's position especially because she was suggested by fans of the show and it seems like mnet is actually taking that feedback from fans very seriously i mean taking a look on social media one user wrote they tried destroying kelly kumalo but failed her story should be written in the history books they can all be against you but if you have god on your side you remain standing tall i love her music i love her the best candidate should there be a need to replace somizi another user wrote kelly kumalo would be a great replacement for somizi retweet if you agree and as you can see there by the retweets it's got 267 retweets 1500 and something likes so yes, if the informant snitches are actually correct, Mnate is taking that feedback seriously and you just heard the feedback. You know, a lot of people do suggest Kelly Kumalo to take over Somizi's shoes. Now, Somizi actually made his last appearance on the popular talent contest yesterday. So yesterday,
yesterday's show was uh, So Mizi's last pre-recorded episode. So from next week, we'll probably start seeing those guest presenters or guest judges. Now jumping back to social media, it does seem that the users there are distraught that So Mizi will no longer be making appearances on the show. I suppose y'all just have to warm up to Kelly Kumalo replacing him. But yeah, some fans have even suggested that they will boycott Idol's essay until he returns because his marital affairs have nothing to do with his career, which I personally agree with. But taking a look at what one user wrote on social media, I think people should not vote on Idol South Africa until they bring back Somizi. We also contribute by voting. He's human after all and what happens in his home should not affect his career. Another user wrote at Somizi, please fight for your seat back on Idols SA. It won't be the same without you. Proverb, please get some gaga back. Idols will lose a lot of viewers because of this decision. Muhalem Tau must just retract and apologize. But yeah, you know, following Muhalem's damning interview tape that got leaked where he makes damning allegations against his estranged husband, Somizi requested some time off Metro FM as well as Idols SA and also did not attend Batu's shoe launch. So yeah, the situation is seeming a little bit bleak for Somizi Mshong. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about those reports that Kelly Kumalo is actually tipped to replace Somizi as Idol's essay judge. Our next topic, Somizi trends after an old video of him talking about his crush on a young Mac G surfaces. Staying on Somizi Mshongo, an old video on social media showing a snippet of an interview between veteran media personality Somizi Mshongo and radio presenter turned podcaster Mac G has landed the pair on the Twitter trend list. So it seems like Twitter users are dissecting this particular conversation. Now in the one minute video that is doing the rounds on social media, Mac G tells Somizi about a time in his life where he was broke and depressed after being fired from a certain radio station. Now in response, Somizi reveals that he had a crush on Mac G and he could never find the right time to ask him out because he was young and looked like a 12 year old. Now Mac G says that he is into girls only implying that any advances from Somizi would have never worked on him. However Somizi then says I'd assume jokingly that he wishes that he had timed his courtship intentions to align with the time when Mac G was depressed and broke because when you are vulnerable anything goes. Let me play that clip for you guys real quick. The thing is when you're broke right because it was just after I got fired from the other station mm. and um, I was you depressed. Uh, so, so depressed. I was very depressed, you so know. What did you do? Look at me interviewing now. What did you do um, during that depression that you thought would would make you feel bad? I was drinking a lot and I was banging a lot of girls. You know, where was I? <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> this is when I was supposed to pounce yeah. because I've always had a crush on you. Yeah, whoa, whoa, yes. whoa, 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 whoa. Serious. Hold up. But you were too young. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is your TV child. <laughs> And, and it didn't even help the situation that even when you were over 18, you still look 12, yeah, you yeah, know, when yeah. you were at the other station. So damn, yeah. that, my timing sucked because that was the time for me to pounce. Yeah, but I'm only into girls. Yeah, but when you're vulnerable, <laughs> ah, anything goes. <laughs> And <laughs> so yeah that is the actual clip that is doing the rounds and that video clip definitely did ignite a conversation over Somizi's character on the Twitter timeline. One user wrote there is nothing okay with what Somizi said but he gets away with it like all men do when they act like predator. Another user wrote so Somizi loves the young, broke and vulnerable boys now that's pedophile vibes I believe Muhali now. Now, you actually replied to that reply and wrote, but Muhali was never broke. We don't know his vulnerabilities, especially from relationships perspective point of view. I do hear what that user is saying. I mean, we don't know uh, Muhali's vulnerabilities, but we do know that he was young. Another user wrote, yo, my only concern is what Somizi said about vulnerability even after Mac G said he is straight. But what I don't get is why can't Muhali just divorce Somizi and move on, leave his money and possessions alone? They aren't his. Why? Why is he trying so hard to destroy his name? Personally, I do agree with what the user said there at the beginning, the vulnerability things ish. You know, saying that you would pounce on someone while they are vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't come across right. Doesn't sound right. Think about it. It's just, it's not right. The last part via the divorce. I mean, we don't know what Mohail is claiming via what he wants from the divorce. And also, you know, they did get married in community of property. And if you want to avoid, I suppose, a squabble, if should you guys divorce, then don't get married in community of property. You got choices. 
But yeah, I mean, do comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about that old video of Somizi talking about his crush on a young Mac G and how when people are vulnerable, anything goes. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.